Would you like to make your cooking much easier, tastier, more fun-filled and less wasteful? Try HelloFresh and get quality produce fresh from the farm, delivered straight to your doorstep, relieving you of having to wait in long queues at the grocery store. Your order box comes with a step-by-step -step recipe guide, for a perfect and easy recipe, with a taste that cannot go wrong. Your ingredients also come pre-portioned and ready to go, which means little to no food wastage, and faster preparation time, with meals ready in just 30 minutes or less. Are you on a diet or fitness plan, and you just can't stick to your tasteless boring meals? Try HelloFresh, and reach your fitness goals without sacrificing flavor. You get to taste a wide variety of delicious flavors and recipes of the season, ranging from luscious assorted delicacies, to fresh fruits, veggies and nuts, down to whole grains and protein-packed meals. All these, to perfectly meet your fitness needs. Whether you'd like to lose weight, gain weight, or build muscle, HelloFresh has got you covered. Packaging is done with eco-friendly and recyclable materials, making way for a lot cleaner environment. Click the link in this video's description, or, go to HelloFresh.com, and use the code showing on your screen, to get a 65% discount, in addition to 9 free meals across 5 boxes, 3 surprise gifts, and free shipping on your first box. Eat delicious and healthy, save time and money, reach your goals faster and stay stress-free, with HelloFresh. Order yours now, and make every food time a blissful moment. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. The chapter 69 of the Book of Enoch, once again tells us the names of the chiefs of those angels, who taught the children of men, the forbidden knowledge, and the very skills they taught them, thereby instigating in their hearts, the desire for sinful crimes. And so, behold the names of those angels. The first of them is Simyaza, the second, Azazel, and the third, Asbiel. The fourth is Kokobel, the fifth, Jegan, and the sixth, Gadriel. The seventh is Penemu, the eighth, Artikifa, and the ninth, Barakiel. The tenth is Castija, the eleventh, Amaros, and the twelfth, Barakijal. The thirteenth is Armon, the fourteenth, Honanel, the fifteenth, Sariel, and the sixteenth is Shamsiel. The seventeenth is Jatrel, the eighteenth, Ezekiel, the nineteenth, Arakiel, and the twentieth, Rumael. These are the names of the chiefs of those angels, the leaders over the hundreds, and fifties, and tens that went astray. Jagan persuaded them to descend to the earth, and to mingle with the daughters of men. Asbiel aided Jagan by further imparting evil counsel to the holy sons of God, encouraging them to defile their bodies with the daughters of men. Gadriel revealed all the blows of death, for he introduced to the children of men all weapons of death, the shield and the coat of mail, and the sword for battle. And so, from his hands, men have slaughtered themselves from that day, and forevermore. The Book of Enoch also cites that it was Gadriel who led Eve astray. Perhaps, it meant that it was he who led the children of Eve astray. Penemu taught the children of men, the bitter and the sweet of the secrets of angelic wisdom. He instructed mankind in writing with ink and paper. And so, many sinned, from eternity to eternity and until this day, for men were not created for the purpose of confirming their good faith with pen and ink. For men were created exactly like the angels, that they should continue pure and righteous, and that death should not have taken hold of them. But through this knowledge, they are perishing, and the power they do not know how to handle, consumes them. Castigia taught the children of men, spiritual warfare and dark magic. He showed them the wicked blows of the spirits and demons, and how to smite the embryo in the womb, that it may be eliminated. He showed them how to smite the soul of the mortal man, and taught them the ways of the serpent. Asbiel did not only aid Jegan in imparting evil counsel to the rest of the angels, he also broke his sacred vow, by revealing to the sons of men, 
the almighty power of the sacred oath of heaven. This was the task of Asbiel, the chief and keeper of the oath, the oath known as the Lord's word. For he was entrusted with showing the power of this oath to the holy ones, to the sons of God who dwelt high above in glory, and not to the sons of men. Through the power of this oath, the earth was born from the waters, and the world and eternity was created. Through this oath, the sun, the moon and the stars, complete their course and do not deviate from their ordinances. The voices of thunder and the light of lightning are preserved, and the Lord calls them by their names, and they answer him. For this oath is mighty over creation, and through it, all of creation is preserved.